How much cash do you have? See, that's something simple. And our guest today actually has pitched in front of Shark Tank. Yes, the judges that you all know. And before he went out, the advice he got was just keep it simple. Seven million Americans, they have to understand. And I think we had the guest Jordan, who knows a lot about the, we call it the non-QM space. But for you consumer out there, it's not your traditional mortgage. There are loans available for you being self-employed or you have cash at the end of the month, you deserve a mortgage, how come you can't get one? Well, there are people out there that can help you. What I learned today is you just gotta keep it simple. And for loan officers, I think our industry is a lot of recruiting. So there's not always an exact message because you're trying to cater to the loan officer, keep them happy, get their volume. Bill Lyons is a different type of leader and he is roaring in with a system in place and his system is the four quadrant system. But I think more importantly, it is a system he knows works. And if he's going to give you a lead and you're not going to follow the system, that's like throwing it in the trash. He's going to give it to somebody else. But it reminds me of a video I saw on Gary V years ago that stuck in my head and he just re-released it where John Tapper talks about if a customer has a great first experience at a restaurant, he is 32% likely to come back, I believe. If he has a great experience the second time, he's 40% likely to come back. If he has three great experiences at your restaurant, he or she is 70% likely to be a regular customer. So maybe that three is the magic number, and it's a lot harder to get there if you're just selling first mortgages. But if you get a first, a HELOC, and then help them put them together, you now have a customer for life, maybe. And you wouldn't have known that if you didn't have a leader with the right system. Tune into the show and find out what is out there for new opportunities in mortgage. Yeah, and I think that's the key is the word opportunity today. So we had opportunity with non-QM. Uh, there's a lot of niches within non-QM that you can go after. There's a lot of non-QM business within your database. Uh, and then we also talked about uh, NAR. Mike uh, Della Prete put it best, uh, you know, there's just uh, not enough facts and data for him to give an opinion. And everybody that's talking about it right now is it's an opinion. What I do think though, is that there is an opportunity with the NAR going direct to consumer. And it's going to be a grab for who can best go after and get in front of that buyer, whatever demographic it is, and whatever tool that you're using, whatever marketing campaign to get in front of them in a distracted world. You talked a little bit about Shark Tank. It was a, that episode was a little bit ahead of its time because Mr. Wonderful on the show asked me straight up. He said, I will invest if you're telling me that your software will eliminate Barbara and all of the realtors out there. Now, of course, I said at the time, no, that's not the case. That's not what, what we're trying to do. We're trying to help them, make them better. He immediately said, I'm out. But it is a question he had, and, and will that question come true one day for mortgage loan officers, for realtors, for uh, seller's agent, buyer's agent? We talked about not being all things to all people today. We talked about being an expert and continuing to do that same thing over and over again and master it. Don't try to do all three. Barely any people can do all three. Choose one. So if you were to hook up with a company like Griffin to do marketing, great. Or you were hook up with an agency to do that marketing for you. Or you have a Jake from State Farm that does it for you. Whatever the case may be, just operate in your lane. Choose a lane and be an expert in that lane and continue to do it over and over again. Master it and you will create optimization in your business. Great show today. We had the opportunity to talk about conferences. We had the recap of ICE, which is an amazing conference for uh, their customers and their clients and a great opportunity to network, to rub shoulders with those partners and service providers that are bringing the latest and greatest services and conferences in general. If you're not attending even your city or state and local type conferences, get out there, rub shoulders with your peers, see what's working, see what's not working. Uh, I think that's a great opportunity to just be in it. If you're not, you know, knowledge or aware of what's happening in the industry or new guidelines that are being brought out by the agencies or even with the MBA and their advocacy, continue to just follow that, continue to be on top of that. You have to be vulnerable. You have to be willing. You have to go out and know 
and understand the products that you've gotten guidelines backwards and forwards and be able to go out and get in front of that consumer. If you're like the rest of the industry who's been in here for maybe less than 10 years, you really didn't get an opportunity to see what the previous mortgage administration was like with stated income, bank statements, different types of irresponsible lending per se, but also you missed that on the opportunity to go on the four C's of lending, the credit, collateral, capacity to pay. And what we got a chance to see today with Bill Lyons at Griffin Funding was that with the way he does his four square box of underwriting is really not only with the four C's of lending, but also with the fifth C of compliance, which we had an opportunity to see in the last 10 years, ever since the crisis of the subprime meltdown. So if you're the leader of an independent mortgage banker and you're looking to be profitable, maybe this is something that your originators need to be able to see so that you can be a more profitable, not only originator, but also a profitable company. This particular episode is important to listen to so that you get the opportunity to see more, do more, and be better for our industry.